Okay, so I'm back and before the video starts, it's greatly appreciated when you were to react, so please like, comment, and subscribe. So this video is about Natalie live. She kind of pissed me off at some points in this live. Um, and then some points she made kind of made sense. And I ain't gonna lie, shit made sense. Um, so we get, come on, let's talk about it. Okay, so one thing she said uh was that she's not picking sides when it comes to Roly or Biggie. If you ask me, Natalie, you definitely picked her side. Let me tell you why. Well, uh, she's not watching, but like, let me tell y'all why I think she definitely picked sides. And the side I know she picked was Roly, and I still think that. Now, at the time of Roly and Biggie fight, Roly said, Biggie, the backpack boys don't know you. Blah, blah, blah. Biggie goes, Natalie, wasn't we on phone with such and such at the same time? Don't I know him? What did Natalie do? She was on hush mode. But then when Roly asked you, oh, wasn't she talking crap on Biggie and stuff like that? You answered Roly. You was like, yeah, she said blah, blah. T already you was picking sides if you ask me. Now, me personally, I have no clue what Biggie said on Bigo. I don't use Bigo. Um, I thought Roly and Biggie had this fight at the reunion and it was over. I don't even know why they fought again. But another reason why I feel like Natalie was picking sides is that in the live, she was trying to be, like, in the middle. She was like, oh, I don't know if Roly bit Biggie. And then she was like, Biggie saying Roly bit her, right? That's being in the middle, right? Then Natalie went and said, oh, I don't know if Biggie got bit, if she got scratched. or You know damn well that's teeth marks. Now, you were staying in the middle when you said Biggie saying Roly bitter, Roly saying she did not bite Biggie. That's you in the middle. You sitting there lying on a damn well. That's a bite mark on Biggie arm talking about, oh, it could be a scratch. Really? You, that's you picking sides in my opinion because you're trying to erase the fact that she got bit in the first place. Not even Roly biting her. You trying, what? That's weird. You picking sides. Well, what y'all think? Am I reading too deep into that? Be because it's like there's no way that even looked like a scratch. Who's, come on, bro, that, you know, that's someone's teeth marks, like, you really, no, nah, I'm, I'm not tripping, bro, like, if you're gonna be cordial and in the middle and not pick sides, stay in the middle, bro, because you don't have to pick sides because both of them are your friends, and you don't got beef with neither one, but you definitely picked Roly's side, and it's like, if you picked Roly's side, just say you picked Roly's side, don't, don't do all the weird stuff and then get on live saying, oh, I'm cool with everybody, I didn't pick no sides, so this next thing I agree with, right, now, Natalie, she didn't like that Camila was saying Roly was nasty for biting Biggie, right? Because Natalie feel like you was laughing when Natalie got bit by Red. Natalie also called out the audience because they was like, when, when she was like, when Red bit her, everybody was laughing. Now that Roly bit Biggie, it's not funny and it's disgusting. I looked it up the other day. What season was it when Red bit Natalie? They said season 13. I looked it up when season 13 came out. They said 2014. In 2014... I was 14. I wasn't even in high school. So if I laugh, I, I got a kid brain. That's not my fault. Now, now that I'm older, I think that stuff is nasty. Now, the people who was older back then, did y'all laugh? Did y'all laugh? Don't lie now. I don't even remember my reaction to it. It's, it's like me being 14. I'm pretty sure I probably laughed. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. But for the people that was grown, like Camila, Camila, did you laugh at the time? Because if you did, you was grown then. So it is kind of double standards. Now, I did go look at some old clips back then. I know for a fact back then, I did not like Natalie. I don't ever remember liking Natalie back then. Like, at all. But around the bite, the bite whole thing, that was around the time where Judy was, like, obsessed with Natalie. Natalie was using it against her. Everyone felt like uh, Judy ain't have all the right screws in her head, if you know what I'm saying. So, even though I do think she was a pretty fucked up person back then, the bite itself still is nasty. Like, be honest. That, that's nasty. Now, with Camila, uh, uh, I guess, laughing back then, and then now she's calling it nasty... Natalie keep talking about this fake growth, like in parentheses, not parentheses, quotations. She don't like the fake growth that Camila is supposedly doing. Uh, she talked about how she doesn't have a real issue with none of the girls. Okay, so then this smiley and melting this chain into a ring. I don't understand this shit. Did she melt the chain into a ring or not? Because I'm confused. Natalie, and your tweets, you're saying she did it. Unless I'm reading it wrong, I really could be reading it wrong. But you're saying, yes, it did. I don't know if you're saying, yes, she did say that or yes, she did melt it. Because if she said, I'm, I know she said it. Why? Because Smiley is a liar. She talked about how Smiley is, was always starting something or she was always lying about something. A lot of the girls was frustrated with it and stuff like that. She kind of talked about how the, flan, the fans are, um, are not like somebody one day and like somebody the next day or something like that. I don't know if she's trying to say flip floppy or not. My thing is, if you're trying to say the fans are flip floppy, I don't think so. I think the fans are unbiased and they give their opinion on every episode. Like some of these baddies, they they think because if you're a fan of one of them, 
you're going to ride for them the whole time, even if they do some weird, stupid, fucked up stuff. For example, T, she did too much yelling at Scotty in the van. Yeah, she did. She absolutely did. But then, uh, Scotty, she ran up on T, snuck her, by the way. And then after she just had a fight, it, it, that was weird. You don't think people going to say that's weird? I actually need to hurry up because her live is pretty long and I don't want to keep y'all forever. So another thing she talked about was the fans and Scarface. So she's like, all of y'all, well, not all y'all, it's a bunch of people saying, oh, why Scarface there? Who wanted Scarface there? Y'all know damn well. Most of y'all was in them comments saying we want Scarface. I just said this, I think, last week. Um, this is y'all fault. Everyone wanted her there. Now that she's there, y'all don't want her there. So lastly, it's Mariah. So Mariah, she got on Natalie Live. Uh, she was like, no, a lot of people was like, Mariah, why did you choose that night to fight Smiley? And you snuck her. And, you know, all this other stuff, right? Mariah said something that did not really make sense to me. Um, she said every time she wanted to to confront the situation, a lot of other people was fighting and she didn't want to feel, she didn't want people to feel like she was taking the show or something like, some dumb shit. Let me tell you why it's dumb, right? In that restaurant, Mariah, you and Smiley fought, what, 20, 30 minutes after or before Anna and Scotty? No one cared that it was two different fights. The day outside the house when DJ Scott and Anna fought, Scotty and T was about to fight or they was arguing. So it was like, again, another multi-fight you know, day, right? Another day with multi-fights, it was T versus Scarface. Then it was T versus Scotty. Then it was T versus Brody. They didn't care about if it was other people fighting that day. So it was like, what you saying don't really make sense, honestly. It really don't. Yeah, not really. In my opinion, it don't. But here goes Natalie's live. There's too many of them. So, you know, someone yelling and lashing off at somebody on a bus. And then the next day, you know, all of a sudden, you guys to stop thinking that me, I'm egging things on. Most of the time, I'm sitting down just like, well, this is about to go up. This is about to be a problem. Well, and even when I do tell them, even when I do tell them, like, uh, Smiley, give her the chain back. They don't listen anyways. <laughs> so... These are baddies. They're going to do what the fuck they want to do. So even if I tell them, hey, I think you should just at this point now give the chain back. It's starting to get a little bit. They might, they might, girl, they might all come at you. Well, I don't know. Just get the chain back. I don't want to see anybody. They don't listen. So it is what it is. Period. So, um, yeah. What's up? <laughs> Let me see the... I think there's like questions down here. No, because it's crazy. I'm, I'm over it. I'm sick of hearing like, you know, it's like I get it and I don't condone and I'm not saying like I, I think it's okay. If, if anybody did bite somebody, I didn't see that. And obviously I didn't, I don't like, I didn't like the way it felt when I got bit. But y'all don't keep the same energy. So I, that's why at this point I'm like, y'all not about to play me on the internet. Like you're not. Like. You're not going to play me on the internet. Want me to respond to, you know, oh, well, Natalie, how do you feel? Oh, do you want me to tell you how I feel? It doesn't feel good to get bit. No, it doesn't. I know the feeling. I got bit. But all of you guys uh, jump ships. One second, it's, you know, oh, my God, yes. Yes, get her. Then it's like, you know, oh, no. Like, you guys, you shouldn't be allowing people to bite people. Like, what? And then it's the same that are on the show that were there when I got bit that were laughing and thinking it was hilarious and ha 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 that are now saying oh my god that's so disgusting biting people I'm like what <laughs> like, huh I don't want to hear growth either oh whose side are you on whose team are they? it's too much it's too much it's too much flip-flopping and it's baddies and if they like you today and if they don't like you tomorrow it is what it is that's all can't control a baddie they're gonna do what the fuck they want to do that's it so i'm just addressing the things that keep coming to me and i'm just like i've heard enough i've heard enough about it i've heard enough i am 100 percent right and 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 i'm and i'm tired of it so period point blank um, I do not dislike, there's nobody on the cast that I dislike. There's nobody on the cast that I like, you know, have like a, a, a real issue with. It's just, it just, I, I don't, it doesn't, it doesn't give that for me. You know what I'm saying? It just doesn't give that for me. Like, 
but I do see consistent flip flopping. And you know, I sometimes at the, at, at, when I watch, I, I'm like, I can't even feel bad for you. I told you to give that back, or I didn't told you to, you know, stop playing games. I didn't told uh, it's so much. So I just be over here like, girl, don't start getting on the internet and making these fans believe no bullshit right now because it's like, please. It, it just, it's, you know, a lot. A lot. So. Okay, I could be the queen of flip-flopping. Like I said, I'm the baddest. <laughs> like, I don't care. Talk about, oh, you're a flip-flopper. Sure. Great. You know, that's why you guys like the show. You like the drama. So, what do you want me to do every time it's somebody? No, guys, no fighting. We need to all sit down and fix. These are baddies. These are baddies. They're going to act bad. And that's just what baddies are. Stop, like, acting like y'all think you're going to tune in and it's going to be kumbaya and cool. Y'all know that these hoes. And then, and then now they got real reasons to have problems with each other, like snatching chains and calling them up phones off camera talking about yeah so what's up i got your friend shit what you want to do like just pressing hold nobody's playing again nobody wants to be playing being 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 played on it's just not happening and so it's given i already knew it was going i'm like this is crazy this is crazy period and and the season gets crazier <laughs> so how about that so I don't, I, and then another thing, like, it's not that I dislike Biggie or I dislike Roly or I like one more than the, I'm not doing that. I'm not, I'm not doing that. Okay. Me and Roly didn't have beef two seasons ago. Okay. Me and Roly was fighting two seasons ago. We was literally fighting. D did y'all forget? Come around that counter. Come around that counter. Bitch, what, what bar? <laughs> like we've been, it's, it's guys, it's baddies. So I don't want people to think like, once I fight somebody, I can let the shit go though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, I have that mentality like 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 how boys, you know, like boys will fight and then they'll let it go. Like, I can fight with a bitch and let it go. But I will also stand on whatever any kind of principle that I feel. So like, yeah, I let my beef go with Camila. We fought on the season, but I definitely do feel some type of way about the post that I keep seeing on the internet where you want to have have uh have um Biggie's back with the bite. And now, now, again, I'm not saying I don't have Biggie's back with the bite. I don't know if it is a bite or if it was claws and scratching. I don't know if she grabbed her arm. I don't know. I didn't see that part. But I will say get, get, having someone bite you does not is not fun. doesn't feel good. But the same person who's saying, oh, that's disgusting, was literally laughing and cheering when I got bit. So I'm just like, okay. It's disgusting now, but it was fine when I got bit. And, you know. And then, um, I don't know if it's a bite. Mine looked, my, mine is a bite. <laughs> I got bit. So I, I didn't, I don't, maybe she got bit. I don't know, guys. I didn't see that. I was literally sitting on the couch and then everybody starts standing up. I might have stood up, tried to stand up to see, but I don't know. I don't, if she got bit, so, uh, that it sucks. Doesn't feel good. Doesn't feel good to get bit, but I don't, I didn't see it. I don't know. Maybe we should get Rolly on the live. Rolly, where you at? Do you want to join the live? Do you want to answer just one simple question? Did you or did you not bite Biggie? And then maybe we can get Biggie on the live. Biggie, did you or did you not get bit? It's just very simple. Like, I don't know who got bit and if she got bit or if she did it. I know I got bit and y'all, the whole world thought it was funny and like thought it was hee hee so I don't I really don't give a fuck <laughs> to be fair because when it comes to the fans caring about I don't care because you guys keep tagging me like kick Rolly off the show she bit I didn't I don't like I don't know so let's get Rolly on let's Rolly Biggie would you like to join live is Smiley on the live too because Smiley I would love to have you uh, jump in here too and answer a simple question number one did I or did you not did I or did I not tell you to give the fucking chain back and did you or did you not say you wasn't giving it back you wanted to keep the shit and you and I love you too Ignacio 
and you said you was with whatever. So let's just like, let's like, you know, then, I, I, and then, you know, I told you that you said you melted the chain down and gave the shit to your son for a ring. Then you get to the house in front of all the girls and you tell Ro in front of Roly and I that you said that on the bus to you're over here talking about. I didn't melt it down into a, and make it into a ring. That's irritating. Like, you're, the gameplay, that's why it went down. That's why the drink got thrown. There was a lot of games being played and calling people's phones. There's just so many games being played. Period, point blank. Smiley, would you like to join the live? Mariah, would you like to join the live? Um, um, Biggie, Roly, would you like to? I know, I see y'all are in the live. So, would you like to join the live? Because I, I just, it's like... We not, I'm just, it, it, it's like, clear it up. And I, I, I'm not mad at anybody. I don't, n none of this, I don't care. That's where I stand right now. I don't care. It's like, so my simple questions are this. Number one, Smiley, did I or did I not tell you to give the chain back because it was, get, it was starting to get to the point where motherfuckers wasn't playing with you no more? And did you or did you not say you melted it down and made it into a ring for your son? And then did you or did you not say, I have the chain, but I ain't giving shit back. I'm finna stand on what whatever it is. I ain't giving the fucking chain back. Mariah. <laughs> nah, it is messy because now you got people's fucking diamonds. You got people um, missing. <clears throat> Smiley, did you or did you not call Suki's phone being messy, pressing her? Like, you was finna, like, why would you call that girl's phone? Like, oh, yeah, and I got your friend. Like, that's not like you trying to, like, you pressing me like I'm supposed to do something about it. Don't, I, bro, it, I hope none of these ever think it would be cool to call my phone and say, hey, yeah, so, what's up, sis? Just so you know, your homegirl, Beth, yeah, I just beat her the up outside the party out here in Miami, and I got her shit, I got her chain. So, what's up? When I see you, what's up? Like, what? <laughs> this shit is crazy. I cannot make this up. They, then they get on the internet and it's playing victim and it's playing all kinds of internet games to get the fans to jump ship. The fans are just baddie fans, like across the board. Yes, this season they love you. Next season they, they can hate you. This season they might. Today you bit somebody. Today you didn't bite somebody. Today you got the best of her, but they like her today. But just two episodes ago... Two episodes ago, this bitch was on the bus popping off the Scotty, and now it's poor her, then it's poor her, then this bitch is getting tired of playing games. It's like, bro, every other week is some, it's like, just two episodes ago, episodes ago, y'all was going off about one bitch. Then, is this, that's why I don't even, I'm not doing this with y'all. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not doing it. I'll go live, explain a few things, and, and then I, and then after that, that's it. Y'all be mad at somebody else. Y'all be going off about another bitch. So, because I, I wait, I went, once I started seeing that y'all was saying something about the bite mark, everything in me from going off about it. Because y'all did not give a f I didn't keep that energy. That is so disgusting. Oh my God. Oh, really? Oh, really? Is it disgusting or was it funny? <laughs> Shut the f up. <laughs> I love my team, Natalie Rockstars. Whether I did something that was like, you know, super, like I was just at my wits end and I went off or I just went crazy on episodes. My team, Natalie Rockstar, they y'all been me for a long time and ain't never been on no wishy-washy flip-flopping. I'm tired of that. Like, it's like, you know, and then people will be like, like y'all been tagging me saying, who asked for E.T. on the show? Wait, what? Y'all, y'all was in the Zeus comments. Literally going insane to have E.T. on the show. Literally going insane. Then you guys say, oh, why don't you guys cast anybody that's regular people to be on the show? We got a regular person. We got Smiley. She's a regular person. Respectfully. Because y'all blew up Zeus's page. Blew it up. Now you guys are messaging me like, like, wait, What? Bro, and I don't have a problem with E.T., so I'm just saying, like, that now this energy is, oh, why, why, why? What do you mean, why, why, why? Y'all requested, requested, requested. Beg, beg, beg. Literally lit the Zeus Instagram page up. Lit it up. Now she's here. And now it's, ah, oh my God. Ah, 
like, okay, like the show, and it's about to get even messier. So, it's baddies, okay? And these girls have no morals. Take a look. <laughs> There's no side being taken. I'm, I'm asking simple questions. Hey, Mariah. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Messy ass bitches. I'm telling you. I don't know why, why they want me to come on here so bad. I mean, everything is pretty self-explanatory. I'm just, I'm just here by you know popular demand. Uh huh. Cause mm -hmm. um, I don't think you had any questions for me. Well, I do have a question for you. One question. Before in, you eat your in cheesecake. In tonight's episode, it's very simple. It's not, it's not a big thing, and you can answer or you don't have to answer. It's not a big deal. But in tonight's episode, were you feeling just fed up? Like, because I do recall us being on the bus with Smiley, and she told you, me, and Scotty, and Roly in our face that she melted the chain down and gave it to her son. And you were trying, you were trying to go at that moment, but there was no cameras. It was because that, that whole thing happened outside in, in D.C. where the eggs got thrown, and they rushed us out of there, and they just put us on the sprinter quickly. Right. Once we got to the house, I don't think there was a battery put in your back because of Mariah, uh, because of um, Suki and, and Sapphire, per se. I think you were fed up because at that moment she had just said, again, I didn't melt the chain down and turn it into a ring for my son. Did that trigger, did, in any way, did, did you feel triggered? Were you annoyed? Was that the end of all, wits all? Like, how did you feel? Honestly, I said it from... The time that we first fought, I said, I'm not letting this shit go. If she thinks I'm letting this shit go, she's out of her rabbit ass mind. I'm going to get down to the bottom of it. And I, everybody who's saying, like, oh, I should have been on go. Every, we never slept in the same house. The only time we were together were on bookings and group meetings. And every other time I wanted to handle the situation, other people started fighting. Like, when you were, like, like outside the house and you were like, does anybody have anything they want to get their test? <laughs> I wanted to get it off my chest, but everybody else started going, breaking into mayhem. So I was like, well, I don't want people to think that, like, I'm trying to make this all about me. Let these can duke it out, too. So, yeah, it was irritating. And I'm tired of people saying, like, oh, get your chain back, get your chain back, get your Mariah, we lost you. They need to get their subscription. Wait, what? So, Mariah, hold on. So, the chain, okay, so. Liar, liar, why pants on fire. Why did Smiley just give the chain back when I asked She had plenty of opportunities. You were on the phone with her uh, plenty times, and that's why when I was on the live, before I got on the live, I was saying there were no lies told because there was not one fib, like, your nose didn't grow a as you told the story and a lot of people don't know that behind the scenes she was doing a lot and let's not forget that is the one who started with me I was minding my own business at auditions she saw me backstage put her number in my phone and called herself okay I don't think people know that and then did the with my sister and off camera I popped on her outside of your mother last dinner that she stalked us at which was also the truth and then from there, like, I gave you an opportunity. I got you on the show, babe. I gave you a check. I fed you. Say thank you. <clears throat> okay. That's it. So, so, yeah. Okay. So, Mariah, is there anything else you want to say to any any of the fans, anything that's been going on on the season and any of these last 10 episodes that maybe you just want to clear up or not clear up or instigate more? Do you have anything to say to any of these girls? Like, wh wh how are you feeling right now? Um, I feel like I'm damned if I do, and I'm damned if I don't. So I'm just going to do, do, do. Baddies, I told y'all. It's baddies, guys. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I don't understand. It's like, get your chain back. Then I go get my chain back. Oh, you needed a battery. I didn't need nobody and put gas in my tank or anything like that. I said in the scene prior when we were drinking tea, 
that it was up. And that's why we held the meeting in the basement because it was already going to be up with her about my chain. Roly just started addressing the miscarriage thing first. It was like, stop lying. At one point, you know, that's true, sis. I did not give a I was like, it's a pendant. I have another one. I hope you're not mad at me, Biggie. I just got off the phone with you because we had a conversation. So like I said, I'm not getting, it's like, it's like you guys have to understand that like, <sighs> I like Biggie. I don't have a problem with Biggie. I don't have a problem with Roly. I don't have a problem with none of these girls like that. It, it's like I could have beef with somebody and once we fight, it's done. It's done. It's done. I'm not going back and forth. So how, like, I have, if, if Biggie got bit, I have sympathy for the fact that, because I know how it feels to get bit. But y'all don't give a f That's where I've drawn the line. You guys don't care. It's okay one minute, but it's not okay the next minute. Oh, it's this. That's why I might, y'all can't, y'all are not to me that's gonna move me any kind of direction or any kind of way because I got bit. And y'all over here tagging me like, look, 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 she got bit. It, it's really bitter remover now. Like, first of all, I didn't see that. But if it did happen, I have sympathy for her because I know what it feels like to get my arm, a chunk of my arm bit out of. And I tell the girl, I tell the girls all the same thing. They love you today and they hate you in the morning. They love you today and they hate you in the morning. Rolly said, I just did a polygraph on that and the results will be released at the reunion. I know y'all are not. These baddies are not playing. These baddies are not playing. She said, I'm not doing that, but it's just, it is. <clears throat> I'm not picking and choosing sides exactly. I just am not, and I don't have a problem. These girls know, they, they can call my phone. If they don't like something, if they want to talk something out, or if they feel some type of way, they can call my phone. I'm not getting in the middle of all that, but I will say that I know what it feels like to get their arm bit, and it doesn't feel good, and and when the girls were all cheering in the phone booth that day and they thought it was funny when my arm got bit, still to this day, it's like, bitch, what? But the same girl that is saying it's disgusting is like, and I can't, it, 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 to me, we could say growth, oh my God. But just last season, you were on the internet calling me fat, a fat bitch. Now have I let it all go because we fought? Yeah. But I'm definitely going to, I still can have a comment or say say something about you know, oh, the growth, or oh, it's just kind of like, it's just, everybody just picks and chooses their battles. Because I'll tell you across the board, biting somebody is just disgusting. It don't matter if it's a bitch I like or I don't like. You bite somebody, that's fucking crazy. Like, who? Wh what are we doing? Period, across the board. But it's a pick or choose game when it comes to the baddies across any, like, you know, that's why I just sometimes be like, eh, I'm not, I'm not getting involved. I'm not saying anything. Because it'd be like, you know, uh, oh, it's not okay to bite somebody. But if it's someone that they don't like at the time, they laugh. It's like, it's too much. I'm just not, it's like, no. And in somewhat, some way, this should be happening in different scenarios. And that's why I just, like, yeah, no. I stand on whatever the fuck it is just in general for me in life. Like, I would never bite somebody. Because that's just crazy. I would never just, ah, and like bite somebody. Like, what are we talking about? Whether Joe Blow got bit or somebody that I dislike got bit. That's crazy to me. Still, the, I still feel the same way about biting somebody. Or, you know, there's other scenarios just in the baddie world. Like, I don't know if, I don't know Smiley. I don't know Smiley. But at that moment, I think the baddies were starting to feel like she lies about a lot of things. Um, I think one of the issues was she kept saying that she had the chain to some people. Then she was telling people she melted the chain down. Then she said she had a miscarriage. And then she, everybody just wasn't really up to like believing all her shit anymore. Like they thought she was doing things just to get camera time. Um, you know, um, a lot of women do suffer miscarriages. And, um, you know, I'm... I'm
I mean, my, my, I had a miscarriage and that was a, like, that was a big thing. It was all over the, you know, blogs. It was a whole, a whole thing. So after a miscarriage, my doctor, but again, I don't know, I guess doctors practice different things. My doctor advised for there to not be anything inserted into my area, tampons, any of that. So, and the bleeding is very excessive bleeding. So I will say, and I'm, you know, like I said, I don't know who the doctor was that she went to out there where we were filming at, but um, the next day we went out to the club and some of the girls from the house that she was in was saying that she was using tampons and all of this stuff. And then she was just out of the club with us, twerking up. Now girls go outside when they're on their period. A period is different than a miscarriage. So. If you're on your period and you're at the club and you stick a tampon in, oh, fuck, okay, whoop de doo But I'm saying, like, to suffer a miscarriage, to be at the club, to, you know, even if she asked, hey, guys, this is a miscarriage, can I take, like, a few days off? I'm sure the Zeus and the team and the um, producers and the talent producers would have been there and would have, you know, whatever. So would have would have okayed her to stay behind. So I think the girls at this point were just starting to get sick of all of the stories and and there were stories it was a i mean it was a few stories even with me that oh i got your name tattooed and then you didn't get my name tattooed it was just a fake tattoo to get on the show or whatever that's not even why we casted her but then it was oh you invited me to your last event but i didn't even know her and never had her phone number she came to my last event and started a fight with mariah it was just a lot of little things that was just like going on and so you know, with all due respect, no one's trying to be insensitive. Well, I don't know. I'm speaking for me at this point right now. I'm not trying to be insensitive about a miscarriage or, and I don't need to see results. Like, I just know what I know. So if you had a miscarriage and you're out at the club the next day bleeding the way I know, you know, I bled from when I had one and the doctor telling me not to put tampons or anything, stick anything up there. I'm just saying. So other than that I don't give a fuck like about who's lying who wants more camera time who you know I do care about a miscarriage like I do feel like that's a real serious thing but the lying for camera time or I just I don't I know you had that bitch's chain and I knew it was gonna go up so I really clearly advised you off camera and called your phone multiple times and said, just give the chain back at this point so we can move on, so we can go about the night, so we could just be some baddies, showing our panties, she's shaking like jelly, shaking her ass in the deli, <laughs> whatever. But it was the refusing of giving the chain back. And no one gave a fuck anymore about anything else at that moment, okay? Yeah, messy, sure. Everybody's being messy. No one's trying to be funny. It's just telling you what it is. <clears throat> so, if y'all found this video interesting, and I hope y'all did, please like, comment, subscribe, share, turn your post notifications on. Thank you.